Hello everyone. This video tutorial is solution of problem 1.73 from mechanical vibration by SS Rob 6 edition. And the, this is the same problem in 5th edition as well. So that's problem 1.73. A massless bar of length 1 meter is pivoted at one end and is subjected to a force F at the other end. Two translational damper with damping constant C1 and C2 are connected to the bar. Determine equivalent damping constant CE of the system. So the force F at point A can be expressed as F is equal to C equivalent into V, v where V is the linear velocity of the point. To solve this problem, first we have to draw a free body diagram to see that when a force is being applied, so how velocities are produced in these two damper so now let's say when a force f is being applied so due to that force f it will have a small rotation theta which is very small so it will have a rotation theta that is small rotation so then when the force f is being applied there so then what will happen, this damper will apply an opposite resistive force, which will be, I'm saying here, F2. And then again, so when the rod is moving uh, in anticlockwise direction, so then this damper will apply another force here, which is F1. So these are the forces being applied. And now what will happen, so if if the displacement or the velocity okay let's say if the displacement of this point is x from its mean position so its velocity will be v and for this point it will have displacement as x2 and velocity as v2 and this point that will have a linear displacement as x2 and then velocity as sorry this is x1 x1 and the velocity as x1 so now now each force that will produce a moment and then that is a direction of rotation so then for a small angle theta so we can develop uh, a condition of equilibrium third condition of equilibrium so to get a relationship between the force f f1 and f2 so that is for a small angle theta the sum of clockwise moments is equal to sum of anti-clockwise moments now the moment due to that force f is anti-clockwise and moments due to force f1 and f2 are clockwise so the moment due to force f is f times by the di uh, total distance which is one meter and then F2 times by 0.75 and F1 times by 0.2. So then uh, F1 times by 0.25, so that is one clockwise moment, F2 times by 0.75, so that is a second, and then F into one, and then I can simplify it to write as equation one, so that is one equation from condition of equilibrium. So now we need to actually write these forces in terms of velocities because F is C E V and F2 that will become C2 into V2 and F3 that will become C3 times by V3 and that is uh, the damping force F is equal to C X dot that is a standard relationship. So F is equal to C equivalent V, which is given in the statement. F1 is equal to C1 V1. So C1 is given 10 and F2 is C2 V2 and C2 is given here as 15. So now uh, we have the forces, but we don't have these velocities. So actually what we need to do is we need to write that velocity V1 and V2 in terms of V. And that is possible here. So we can use an expression here like S is equal to R theta for small angle, for small angle S is equal to R theta or I can say that X is equal to 
r theta so although this is for arc length but for small angle of uh, angle theta so that is uh, arc length is equal to the chord length and if i differentiate the both sides it will become x dot is equal to r theta dot and x dot is velocity is equal to r theta dot so using these relationships i can i can find the velocity uh, v1 and v2 v1 v2 and v in terms of a common vari uh, variable theta dot here r is the radius of rotation and if i consider here is the point of rotation so the radius of rotation for uh, this v1 is 0.25 for v2 is 0.75 and then v is uh, 1 I can find write velocity v is equal to r theta and r for that point a is 1 so then velocity is 1 into theta dot so that is simply theta dot and for v1 that is a v1 and radius of rotation is 0.25 so 0.25 into theta dot and then v2 for the v2 is radius of rotation is 0.75 so then v2 is 0.75 so now I can, once I have these velocities in terms of a common variable, so then I can substitute these values for, to get F, F1 and F2 because I have that C1 and C2 values. So now F is equal to C equivalent into theta, F1 is equal to C1 V1. So C1 is given as 10 and V1 I have just calculated at 0.25 into theta uh, dot so it will become 2.5 theta dot and f2 is equal to c2 v2 f2 is equal to what c2 into v2 so c2 is given as 15 so i have already calculated uh, find the expression for v2 which is 0.75 into theta so then it will become 11.25 into theta dot so now i have all these well uh, forces in terms of a common variable theta dot so then i can substitute them into equation one so after substituting the values of f1 f2 and f into the equation one so i'll get c equivalent theta dot 0.25 into 2.5 into theta 0 plus 0.75 into 11.25 into theta 0 now theta 0 is uh, is same in the uh, in all terms so from right hand side i can take that theta dot as common factor so after taking that theta dot as common factor it can be divided onto the other side so from whole equation this way theta 0 can be eliminated so now c equivalent that will become 0.25 into 2.5 plus 0.75 into 11.25 so after doing the calculation c equivalent comes as 9.0625 newton second per meter so that is the answer so i hope you find this explanation helpful so thank you very much for watching